Hello, this is Fernando from Calvo Geospatial and I'm going to show you today the first steps and the main information about the building's plugin for TBC. First, I would like to start telling you a couple of words about me. I'm Fernando Calvo. I was born in Madrid, in Spain, and I studied survey engineering and finished in 1997. And since then I have been working as a land surveyor, as a software developer. I was in sales, in pro product and project management at different companies, such as Esri, Eptisa, Sun Powers and Edison, and finally a few years ago, uh, for three years with Trimble. I was the regional sales manager for the geospatial division in Central Europe. So therefore I, I was familiar with the whole Trimble technology and since 2015 I have been running my own business and basically we are focused on laser scanning and building surveys but we are also doing software development based on TBC, Trimble Access and some more and also some consulting activities. The agenda for today for showing you the, the main information about the building's plugin is the overview about Calvo Geospatial and a quick overview about the Trim Relax solutions that we have been developing in the last years. Some of them are public, some of them are customer specific and then also some overview about the TVC plugins and then we focus on the building's plugin for TVC which is the the real goal of, of this presentation. Then we will continue with a live demo, a real example with buildings, and after that we could start a training and introduction to buildings, and we will we will be doing it with mm, several videos, focusing on each mm, topic of the buildings plugin and each function. So let's start with with the overview. So we as Calvo Geospatial Consulting, as I said, uh, we are focused on 3D laser scanning, especially architectural surveys and areas calculation, but we are also doing 3D virtual tours with virtual reality, with Matterport cameras, and we are also doing a lot of software development, and customized solutions under AutoCAD, CV 3D, Revit, RGIS, but mostly in the, in the last four years, since 2018 more or less, much more focus on Trimble Access and also Trimble Business Center and SketchUp. Some of the Trimble Access solutions that we have developed in the last years are the Buildings Plug and the Buildings App for Trimble Access. So working with the Total Station and creating in Trimble Access the walls, the doors, the columns, etc. Another one is the 3D Inspector App for mm, monitoring, setting out and, and quality control of mm, different kind of 3D surfaces, also th mm, a 3D irregular network, mm, calculating the perpendicular distance to each triangle of the irregular triangulated network, also 3D polylines with different parameters, etc. And we also developed some unleveled apps for working on on offshore platforms, for example, with mm, different axes of the coordinate system, and also a, mm, so a solution for the spectra mm, units, so SG Master, which was a customized solution for um, based on Trimble Access, and with some smart coding, as you can see here, with 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 the control codes for end line, etc., that we can use in in Trimble Access, but with a focus and a, a general overview of about the top codes, the last codes, whatever we can combine with all of them, etc. And also customized mask for point setting out and, and line setting out with individual visualizations in the in the map view, and also with own icons and own information for improving and, and speeding up the, the setting out tasks. We have also developed some TVC plugins. The most of them have been for internal use. For example, the, the right one, the Windows Detail Sizes, where we needed to measure about 1,500 uh, windows per building, and we had to, to pick up to 17 points in order to calculate many, many different sizes, widths, heights, thicknesses, etc. of each individual window because it, for each one it was a different dimension and the manufacturer needed this kind of spreadsheets it, in order to, to automatically manufacture each individual window with the frames, etc. 
Another interesting one is the BAU tools, which was developed for the German speaking countries for the construction market. And we mm, filled the gap that TBC had in for some construction workflows in this mm, German speaking countries, especially mm, because of the local formats and the and the construction tender parts that we can manage with that, and some other functions that we that they need for for delivering to the to the contractor. The buildings plugin is the one we are focusing on today, and we also developed some quick draft for quick in drafting and creating topo surveys with icons, so very visual, and also TVC to SketchUp because we had to create a lot of. SketchUp facades and elements and windows, etc. And we didn't have a, a plugin for that at that time, so we developed this picking on TVC and creating the objects in SketchUp in real time. The buildings plugin for TVC was developed for internal use for our surveying department because we wanted to use especially only one software. As you know, if you are working with scanning, you are using some software for registering, some other software for for calculating, some other software for for CAD drafting, and some other for whatever else. And therefore, we we wanted to use only one software, and this is mm, the solution for us was working with TVC because we have everything in that. We have CAD, we have point clouds, scans, data from Total Station, from GNSS from 3D laser scanner, from drone, and everything in, in, in a single software. So we don't need any additional software, not even AutoCAD, so we can plot the, the final deliverables from TVC. And this was our goal. Uh, but also our goal was that it needed to be customizable, because as you know, each different customer works with different formats and with different layers, with text, colors, paper plans, and blocks, etc. And it should be quick. So we are saving time up to 70% compared to other workflows that we have used in the last 20 years. And uh, it has to be easy, obviously, because not each drafter is a, mm, a high qualified or an experienced surveyor and, and therefore it should be easy. And, and we are mm, optimizing the workflows and creating mm, automatic mm, elements by using the, the individual functions. So we can start at the end. So before telling you too much about which function does, uh, let's start checking what the deliverables mm, look, should look like. So we we can create floor plans. This is the main the main task that we and the most of the building surveyors have to create are floor plans, and then also in sections and elevations, and also in some cases 3D models. But mm, ninety five percent of the building surveyors need to create floor plans, basically. So therefore, we have different options in in buildings and the requirements can be different. So with different room stems, with different window and, and, and door stems, with different layers, colors, and information that we have to, to give to, his, to each floor plan. Then also, with more complicated ones, with beams, with whatever we need. So we have to be flexible. Then for the sections, we we can create such kind of, of deliverables. So we are working with different depths and with different thicknesses of the lines and different darknesses. So we can see that we the, the cut itself is darker and, and thicker and the elements in the background so are, are, are thinner and, and lighter. So we can create in real time such sections by picking the points that we that we decide from the from the cutting plane view from the vertical plane view, and we will reproject in the two D view. So we can manually finish the drawing and, and improve it and and clean it up, etc. For the elevations, it's a similar principle. So we will place a, a vertical plane on the facade itself along the facade itself and after that we will be picking the points the elements that we will decide if rectangle or lines or arcs or whatever we want to to use to define our our elevation okay so after having a look at the overview what what our goal is we can start mm, checking each function in the following videos 
but you you have a, an overview about what we will be doing in the next in the next slides and, and videos.